Hey there. Today I'm going to take a quick look at TestFit Urban Planner. Urban Planner is our massing tool that allows you to go from nothing to something in just a matter of minutes. To demonstrate this product, I'm going to create a multifamily wrap style building with ground floor retail. To get started, we need to first define our site. There are several ways you can do this, including drawing it manually, defining by parcels, or defining by meets and bounds. For this example, I'm going to define the site using roads. So in the toolbar, we'll select draw roads. And then on canvas, we will define their location. We can tweak that a bit. Next, we're going to select into the site and our preset prompt will pop up. We're going to select basic and solve. And then we're going to further define the shape as multifamily. You can see it's currently selected for retail. So we're going to select this drop down and select multifamily. Next, let's further define our setbacks. So if we click into the site, we'll see the setbacks pop up around the shape. We can define their size either in the properties panel or on canvas. Let's say the southernmost setback needs to be 20 feet as opposed to 10 feet. Okay, now I'm gonna to toggle on 3D mode. And you'll see this shape is currently one story. And I'd like to drag it up to be a little taller. So let's drag it up to be five stories. Okay. Now back to 2D mode. Now we need to add a courtyard space to this multifamily building. One of the best ways to define your shapes in Urban Planner is by using void spaces. And that's what I'm gonna to do to create this courtyard. So we're gonna add a space, which is the cube in the toolbar, toggle on align drawing, and in canvas, we will define that shape that we want for the courtyard. Next, we will define it as a void. And you can see it cuts out that multifamily building. Let's go back to 3D mode. And we'll see that the void shape is only on the ground floor level and doesn't span the entire height of this building. So in Canvas, we will drag it up to match that height. OK, next we need to add structured parking to this wrap style building. So as with the courtyard, we're going to add a space which can be selected in the toolbar, toggle on a line drawing, and define the shape of that parking. You'll see that it doesn't actually have to be perfect because the shape is going to be confined by the site boundaries. This is one of the things that makes TestFit Urban Planner so easy to use. Okay, let's define that as parking here. Okay, the last element we need to add is the ground floor retail. So one more time, we will add a space, toggle on a line drawing, and define that shape on canvas. Once again, it does not need to be perfect because the site boundaries and the void space will help define its location. Let's toggle on 3D. We can see it's one story. I want this to be two stories. And the garage I actually need to drag up to be the height of the building as well. So we'll do that on canvas. Okay, so we've added all those elements to the site. One thing I wanna point out is the tabulation panel. The tabulation panel is calculating things like unit count, retail load, and parking stall count all in real time. So you can see as you drag elements around the site, those numbers are updating instantly. The unit count, the parking stall count, the retail load, if you drag that, et cetera. So it's not just a massing tool, but it's a massing tool with data behind it. And one of the other great things is you can manipulate the site boundaries and you can see the massing will react instantly. We can even change the row type and see that same interaction. Another thing we can account for is setbacks at height using void spaces. So let's add another space, toggle on a line drawing. We're gonna add this to the southern side of 
site plan. We'll define this as void. Let's toggle on 3D. So we can see that the void space is on the ground floor. We actually want to move it up to the fourth floor. So we will drag it on canvas. We're going to make it taller. And there you go. We have that set back at height. Now you can drag this void space around and you can see the building will react instantly to wherever you place it. Okay, so this looks pretty good, but we can further iterate on this by creating schemes. So let's add a scheme and then we'll try out a different option. Let's say we want to rotate the garage. We'll make that a bit smaller. And then we want to try these void spaces in a different location. And you can duplicate the voids right on canvas. Okay, so there's another option. We can continue to do this and iterate and we can add schemes and we can compare their tabulations, the development panel, which is going to show you costing, all sorts of things to lock in the site that works best for you. All right, that's it. In just a matter of minutes, we've used TestFit Urban Planner to quickly and easily lay out the massing of this mixed-use site.